ecosystem services are defined by Nature Scott as the direct and indirect contributions ecosystems, also known as natural capital, provide for human well-being and quality of life. A diverse range of ecosystem services are supplied by Scotland's rural sector's stock of natural capital, including biomass provision, carbon sequestration, flood regulation, regulation of air and water quality, and cultural services relating to people's enjoyment of the landscape and wildlife. The vast number of services provided by ecosystems can be categorised into four manageable groups. Provisioning, those that supply goods. Regulating, those that regulate our environment. Cultural, those that supply the non-material benefits we gain from nature. And supporting, those that are necessary to produce all other ecosystem services. Traditionally, the rural land use sector has prioritised provisioning ecosystem services such as food and material production over the cultural, regulating and supporting services. This has come at a cost to Scotland's biodiversity, soil health and carbon storage, to name a few. However, there is an increasing recognition that a more balanced mix of ecosystem services are required to ensure we are getting the most out of our land, improving biodiversity, promoting sustainable development and well-being, and supporting the green recovery outlined by Scottish Government. In line with this, a high level of environmental conditionality is expected as part of any future rural sector support schemes, requiring the rural sector to invest in natural capital. SEC Consulting have produced a series of fact sheets and podcasts to highlight some of the ecosystem services that can be enhanced within the rural sector in Scotland. This information is designed to introduce you to each topic and direct you to further information and guidance on how you can enhance, protect, and promote your land's ecosystem services.